Yeah. That's a happy mother function. That's a kinky mother function. That's an edgy mother function. Straight edgy mother function. That's a curvy mother function. Wait for it. I'm ready. Sketch it, flip it, label it, move it. What are we doing? We're taking a look at these mother functions. <laughs> you heard me right, I said mother function. If I'm looking at these mother functions, some books actually call them mother functions. So let's go ahead and let's work with those mother functions. These guys, I got the square look like that. I got the root look like that. I got the absolute value, absolutely. I got the cubic rock star. What are we gonna do with these mother functions? We're gonna sketch it, flip it, label it, move it. It. Are there other mother functions? There are a whole bunch of other mother functions. But what are we gonna do? I'm just taking these because I have four examples of these. Let's go up to this. Whoa! We need to see which one of this, can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Which one of it is its mother function? Ah, uh, is that? No. Uh, that? Yes, it's gonna have that basic shape. Now, this is adjunct to my other flip is catch it, label it, move it, but I like to say mother function. So we're gonna take that mother function and we're gonna do what? We're gonna shift it. it that's in the X group, so it goes opposite of what you think. Yeah, you think right, left, no, it goes left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we take that mother function and we shift it left. 11, you niche. Should I go down here? No, nah, that's gonna flip that mother function. We ain't ready for that. Let's go over here. We need to pick the proper mother function. Mm -hmm. So if we look at this guy, we see it's a cube. So it's gonna be, it's gonna have a, a mother function that looks like this. Yeah, the rock star. What are we gonna do with this? This says, whoa, well, opposite the way you think. This says right two, up four. So I'm gonna go right one, two, up, one, two, three, four. And I'll put a dot there, and then I'm gonna make that mother function right through that dot. And then that's the graph of this using that mother function. Am I down here? Huh? Flip that mother function. Should I? Yeah, let's go ahead, let's do that. Whoa, this guy, haha. Uh -huh. That minus on the outside says flip, flip over. The x-axis, that's in the x group, it's in the x group, so it goes opposite the way you think. So you think left seven, no, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then what? I take this, the square, I take that mother function and I flip it down, 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 down. Oh, so yeah, that's a square. Opening down, shifting, right seven units. Now, let's go up here. Whoa there. Absolutely. It looks like I have the absolute value of 2x. So I need to find out its mother function. So the mother function for, uh, absolutely. That guy, it's the V. What do we see? This is two times x now. It's in the x group, so it goes opposite the way you think. Yeah, you're all like, one, one, dot, one, Two, two, dot. Minus one, one, dot. Minus two, dot. What are we doing? Are we doubling the X's? No, we're having them. What am I talking about? If it was a two, now it's a one. So that dot's right there. If it was a one, now it's half right there. If it was a one on the X, then it's half right there. If it was a, a, a two, then it's a, a one right there. So we take that mother function and we squeeze it. Half the X size, which is double the Y size and I size. This guy's up and it stays there. Sure. So that's what you do with that mother function. Look at that mother function. Mother function. Can't believe that mother function. Box and flower.